first, where we're all starting, is to occupy the hood. Um, you know, uh, we can really challenge these leaders uh, to get things right. Challenge the, the banks, challenge the prison industrial complex, because right now, I showed some stuff to Anwar. I think I made a sense you, did you see that part where uh, uh, there are uh, corporations right now making money off slave money, uh, making uh, their products off of people in prison, paying them uh, 50 cents a day, a dollar a day, Kmart, uh, uh, JC Penney's, you know, uh, Exxon, Mobil, different gas stations, uh, oil companies. Uh, McDonald's, you know, people in prison, they're making money in prison, and it's just, it's just not right. And But the thing is that, you know, um, we are allowing it to happen. And so this is why, you know, I guess why we're here, because, you know, we want to raise the consciousness of the people to challenge this system. And this could be the whole, you know, the next civil rights movement. And we can really do some things for our, you know, our, our this generation and our generation. Uh, because if we allow things to go on to keep it going on, uh, it's, it's, only, it's only going to get worse. Uh, because poor people, especially in African American people, and in the cities are affected. You know, we're always, some of us are always going to be, I hate to say it, that we're always going to be poor, but we don't have to suffer like we're suffering now. You know, uh, yeah, we all want to get ahead. But there's uh, things that, you know, if you have other people who are occupying the Jersey Mini, it's more of a uh, middle class and or certain part of the upper middle class are feeling it. You know, we're going to feel it the worst because we're right here in the inner city. We're the ones that are, are going to struggle even worse. So the idea is that, you know, every kid doesn't have to go to jail. Mm -hmm. You know, every kid doesn't have to drop out of high school. So jail doesn't have to be that pack. Yeah, it doesn't, especially nonviolent prisoners. You know, and where is the, the, the so called, you know, the forgiveness? You know, we're, you know, we're a, a, a Judeo-Christian society based on forgiveness. You know, and why is it this way? And the fact that if you are, uh, there's so many brothers and sisters that uh, even Hispanics, you know, all together, you know, they're part, of this, they're part of the hood. You know, why is it that, you know, once you do your time and it's over with, uh, you can't get a job, take care of your family. So you go to jail, you, you gotta sell drugs. I mean, where's that at? Where, you know, where does that say at, in, in, as a Christian in, in, in the Bible or any other a holy book that, you know, uh, you're going to still be held accountable for your uh, charge with, or you've been in jail whether you did it or not? You know, and, and that's, that's our, our problem that we have uh, and why so many people are not getting jobs, you know? And the idea is that, you know, uh, if you're in our community, if you want higher certain, it's like in the 60s, you know, you can be, you know, uh, you can uh, shop there, you can't, you can't work there. Uh, you know, you're in our community, but, you know, what are you doing to help the community? Well, as far as the uh, prison system, there are companies out there that will hire. I used to work for a company that we actually went to the physical prison to interview people, and that was mm -hmm. Army Telemarketing. And we physically went into the prison and we interviewed these people and we told them to contact us upon getting out. Now, if you committed a crime, now I'm not talking about people that are locked up um, for crimes that they didn't do. But I'm talking about criminals that did do the crime and you did something. Even smoking, you know, smoking marijuana. So we'll That's against the law. I yeah. don't care how you look at this. Oh, right yeah, now it's against it's, the law. Yeah. And you do that and you get caught and you do crime for that. It's incumbent upon you to find out once you get out mm -hmm. the information because there are programs there are even federally funded programs to help people get um through re-entry mm -hmm. to help them get job yeah and then if you don't know directly in this area um tracy sidefax um person i know um he just won the Princeton chamber of commerce award was a person that did 10 years in prison and owns one of the largest um, small business contracting companies in the city. And he went to jail? And he had, yeah, he did. And he had the program called From, from the Block to the Boardroom. It's a movement to help people that are in, in this area that went to jail mm -hmm. find a blueprint whether they to getting a job or starting their own job. Uh -huh. So if you did a crime, this is just my opinion, yeah. if you did a job, if you did a crime and you went to jail, mm -hmm. don't 
come out looking for the government to, or even a, um, well, this to, to, find, to, to help you find, work ain't gonna find you. But you got to find it. But yeah, right? but so you, again, it goes back to the statement I said earlier that we have to go beyond the vote process. Mm -hmm. We got to do our own homework. So if you did crime and now you, it's harder for you to get a job, you, you know you did a crime, you're not going to get a job in the bank. They, they're not going to trust you. Well, See what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand but with that. You can find other jobs, or if you can't find a job, get the training uh -huh. but, and start your own. That's true. That, that's how you, this is how you can eliminate Having to go out and look for work. But you gotta understand. If you get the training, you get the training. You can become an electrician. You can become a plumber. You can plumb. You can become a contractor. You can become a whole bunch of things mm -hmm. that can get you your independent license, and you can start your own business. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I see and what you're once saying. you start doing that, then people will start beginning to trust you. Then you can also become a, a productive person in society again. But these are some of the things that can take place within it. But these are, we need to have, like this forum that we have today, yeah. we need to hold this type of forum in the hood. Yeah. Mm. So that people can start seeing and understanding that there are people in the hood that are willing to help you mm -hmm. if you're willing to help yourself. You don't have to go out there and sell drugs to, to, um, to provide for your family. You don't have to be a gang member just to um, get felt love. Most people that's in the gang said they, nobody's showing them no love, so I get in the gang because I got love with my brother here. No, you can get love if you go to the right place. Yeah, I understand that. But, but, but the idea is that, you know, they still have to hold uh, the state accountable for certain things. Like I said, New Jersey, you know, have about, what, 5,000 kids locked up. They're not rehabilitating these kids. So if they're not rehabilitating these kids, and that's what prison is for. You understand that? That's what prison is for. Rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're not rehabilitating these kids, so these kids come out when they get 18, they're going to go right back doing the same thing and go to jail. Even in the prisons today, they're not really rehabilitating. Okay, yeah. and so, listen, and so one of the things is that, you know, we have to uh, force the state, if you're going to lock people up, and if you're going to give them amount, a certain amount of time, you're going to have to rehabilitate. And the individuals who go to jail deserve those type of times, especially nonviolent offenders. Well, and that's, and listen, you mm -hmm. gotta understand it. This is why all these prisons in California, they're letting, you know, they have to let people go because you, you just can't lock people up and give them a, 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 a large amount of time if they don't deserve that amount of time. If they don't, if you, if they, if you lock somebody up and you give them 10 years, they don't deserve, if, if they only, the crime that they did may, may not even be going to jail, or you give them, a, they post them more a year or two, but you're going to give them 10 years in prison, 20 years in prison. There are, but you have to rehabilitate, you have to be fair, and, that, and that's what we want. We want people to be fair. Well, I can agree with that. The justice, hold on. I agree with that. If a person is given un, uh, an unfair sentence, mm -hmm. then that should be corrected. Mm -hmm.